Hey guys, I'm Isavina. Today we're going to be looking at Soundtoy's Echo Boy plugin and how to use rhythmic delays to make your track more interesting. Before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe the channel. So that's a little bit of the track Tell Me How, uh, released earlier in the year. I wanted to have a look at this section here, the chords, just a sample right here. Um, I'm going to turn off the send here, which is our echo boy. So if we can just disable, let's do that. All right, so let's listen to it without any echo. quite a nice sample and right here I've just transposed it down by two semitones and by four here so there's no MIDI actually going on here it's just a sample I felt like the chords were just a bit boring on their own it might be more obvious at the start so I've actually put a delay on this track here as well so I'm gonna turn that off so you're not getting confused Yeah, so it does feel a bit a bit dry. Um, so now I'm going to re-enable that send and we'll listen to it now. So it really helps to drive the rhythm forward to the next beat um, and it really helps to fill up the space as well so otherwise it feels a bit sort of empty and most uh, professional tracks really do kind of fill up the space to make it feel like it's not empty. Okay, so let's have a look inside Echo Boy. I've got a preset here, the inverse swing sixteenths, which can be found under the rhythmic section here. There's a lot of other fun rhythmic delays uh, that are preset in here. I really like the river dance shuffle as well. And basically feedback on minimum mix. I've got all the way wet. So the fun happens with rhythmic delay in Echo Boy over here. So you can play with the groove of the delay. Let's have a listen to that. So if I bump it over here to the swing section. I'm going to solo that. So it's really swung now. And I'm going to bump it over to the shuffle side now. So the shuffle can be fun to use with just a slight amount. It feels really groovy. I'm going to put it back to where it was. Now we can have a listen to how the feel affects the rhythm. So we have Russian and Dragon. So let's listen to a rushed delay. And we'll put it back. So there, that's dragging quite a lot, which is the idea. So basically rushing means you're sitting kind of in front of the beat, the pulse. Uh, not, not too much, but just enough. To feel like it's just rushing a bit and dragging is the opposite you're just sitting a little bit behind the beat it's quite common in swing and jazz you can also have a play around with the saturation section over here so we can bump that up We can also change the style of saturation. We've got master tape on now, but we can change that by pressing these arrows. So 
That's a bit of an echo there. That's really changed the, the tone color with that tube tape. And that's added a bit more of a percussive flavor. So there's quite a lot of saturation styles here. And you can also actually edit the saturation as well by pressing this white rectangle. And you open up a new window. Secret window. You can play around with this knob here, the amount of diffusion. And the size. Now it adds a bit of grit there. And wobble. You can change the depth of that. That doesn't sound very musical, so I'm just going to pull that back. But basically, yeah, you can really have some fun with this this plugin. I uh, didn't actually discover that um, saturation window like this. I never knew that was there until just recently. I clicked it by accident. So you know, you could like click all these knobs and yeah, extra things pop up. You just got to do some exploring. When you when you move this knob here the style of the delay changes so we were on rhythmic echo and then you move that to ping pong and you've got your left and your right delays here and you can have different times for each side echo same idea you can have different times for each side as well I think it just moves around the stereo field a bit differently single echo it's literally just a single echo so you can see why I like playing with the rhythmic the rhythmic delay you can get some real creative effects and help fill out the, the space and also it does help provide momentum in my opinion um, especially moving forward to the next beat and having the option to play with the groove and the feel is is really fun and you can even automate some of these things just to give it more feeling like the track is evolving I like to use automation on lots of different different parameters you won't be able to do it on the track itself but you can put it down here on the send most often we think of automation on the MIDI audio tracks themselves, but you can also automate sends because sends are just tracks as well. So you've got the plugin on the send and you can tap on that parameter you want to edit, saturation. Here it is. It just appears. And then you can push it up and down. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Isavina. Let me know in the comments what your favorite feature of Echo Boy is. And until next time, bye.